In today's video, I'm going to be sharing seven work from home jobs if you're in need of some extra cash. I've compiled this list with the help of my friend Chastity, who is a career coach and a former colleague. So shout out to you, Chastity. Quick little disclaimer, this video is in no way, shape, or form sponsored. I'm not getting paid by these companies to advertise them. But if you are one of the companies and would like to say thank you in the form of a check, by all means, my contact information is in the description box. Okay, let's start off with the first job. I actually know a couple of people that do this already. They have been doing this for a couple of years, and that's teaching English online. There are companies like QKids, Go Overseas, and Teach Away. Now, I know through QKids, you can actually earn anywhere between $16 to $20 an hour, and you can choose your schedule. Could work anywhere between 10 to 20 hours a week. They do require a bachelor's degree or higher in order to teach, but there are other companies that do not require a bachelor's degree you might just need a certification like the TEFL certification and you can do that online as well. Next up we have amazon.com. Right now they're looking for seasonal full-time tech support associates. It's a virtual position, goes for $15 an hour and no degree required. Definitely check that out. It does say select states so check out to see if that opportunity is available for you. I know Amazon definitely does promote these kind of virtual positions from time to time so it's always good to to check in. Now you're going to want to listen closely to what I'm about to tell you next. When I say that becoming a virtual assistant can really set you up with some serious career growth, this is how. Let's say you become a virtual assistant to a business owner. You're going to be working with them very closely. You're going to learn the business inside and out. Potentially down the road, they can give you a business management type of position after everything you've helped with and all the skills you've learned and all the knowledge you gained. And you can potentially earn anywhere between $30 to $55 an hour, of course, depending on how much the person wants to charge, but that sounds good to me. And real quick, if at any point during this video you are finding this information helpful, please hit that like button because it'll help others find this video. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm, so please hit that like button. Now next up, these are for the people that know more than one language. Here's an opportunity for you. You can find jobs being a translator. You can find work on Upwork, LinkedIn, Indeed. Sometimes the pricing will depend on what it is you'd like to charge. You could be translating certain documents or videos video subtitles or things like that. Or there are companies that hire people that are over the phone interpreters and you can get an hourly rate, 14 to $20 is what I saw. When I was doing some research, there was a lot of great opportunities. So it's definitely worth checking out if you do know more than one language. Next up is for the people that have an area of expertise like business, math, languages, check out tutor.com. On their website, you could actually see a grid of everything that they provide to tutor.com students. The base rate I saw was 10 to $17 an hour. You're going to have to dive in to see the specific requirements depending on what it is that you want to teach. But I do know a couple people that tutor on tutor.com and they do love it. Now next up we have a platform that you can promote yourself, your skills, and your talent and that's on fiverr.com. People go on fiverr.com to look for people to help them with graphic design, voiceovers, digital marketing, things like that. And this is where you can show off your work and charge your price. And last but not least, selling your photos on Shutterstock, Getty Images, and FOPE. Now what's FOPE you ask? FOPE is actually an app that you can upload the pictures that you take from your phone or from your professional camera and you can make money from them. And we all know that these cameras that we have on our phones have come a very long way and we can get some really legit pictures from them. So why not try to make some money off of them? And I know with FOPE, I want to laugh because it's like who thought of the name FOLP? Actually, I'm going to have to look into that. Does it stand for something? Like, why is it called FOLP? But anyways, I know with FOLP, they do like these little competitions or they call them missions. And it's a theme. There's a first, second, and third prize winner. They do cash prizes. And then they also choose 30 photos that didn't quite make top three, but they still get some cash. So definitely check them out too. But that, my friends, concludes today's video. Again, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button for me. If you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button and as always thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time bye